Three. Three, three soups in one. Welcome back, Crime for our News Weekend. We're here with Kate McMillan, uh, who is a chef extraordinaire, a caterer extraordinaire. She wrote a book called Soup of the Day is Amazing. It's a William Sonoma book, 365 recipes for every day of the year. So we said, hey, how many can you do here in three minutes? And Kate claims she can do three different soups in three minutes. I can. In, in fact, I'm going to take one soup and show you how incredibly versatile soup can be, which makes it so easy for all of us at home to take one soup and do it three different ways. And the secret, you know, in the graduate, it's plastic. The secret in this is toppings. Toppings, absolutely. So the, the soup that we've made today, as Henry said earlier, is a spring pea and mint soup. The first way we're going to do it today is just a great basic weekday dinner. And I've done nothing here but make the soup. I'm going to top it off with a little bit of extra chiffonade of basil. And I'm going to pair it here with a Gruyere grilled cheese. If that's not the best way to get your kids to eat their veggies at dinner on a Tuesday night, I don't know what is. There goes my grilled cheese. <laughs> the second way we're going to take this soup is I'll taste the soup too. Okay, great. The second way we're going to do this is actually to, talk, to show you a great way to do some spring entertaining. In this case, I've actually chilled the pea soup, and I'm going to pour it directly into tiny shot glasses. What a Any, classy way to serve it. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Any little gl glass you have will do. I love to pass these around. It's such a conversation starter at an event. I'm going to top it off with a little bit of creme fraiche, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to finish it, just because it looks so cute, with a tiny little chive straw, as I like to call them. All right, so let's see. Um, let's first of let's all, taste that one. Yeah. Eat the chop. Eat the chop. Second of all. Eat your veggies. Do I have to, like, no, shoot it back? No. no. I think shooter. you can sip it. We'll save that for the tequila later. Ooh, it, it is a delicious. Isn't it that is a delicious. beautiful and soup? I must say, cold. It it's beautiful. Really, it really works. Mm, the okay, so taking it up even another level is we're going to serve this as a first course to sort of an elegant dinner party. I think soup is such a great way to do something a little bit unexpected. Mm -hmm. And if we really take it up a little bit with the, with the garnish on top, in this case, I've got some shiitake mushrooms that I've just caramelized a little bit in some olive oil and butter. I'm going to place those right in the middle. And then I'm going to take some extra virgin olive oil and just give this a tiny bit of a little swirl. Now, is that just for artistic purposes or is that going to affect the flavor? It's both. It really does bring sort of a luxurious, creamy texture to the soup. It's right. just a little bit of a finishing. And, and this is when you want to use your more expensive, your nicer olive oil right. to really finish it off. And look at that. That's beautiful. Really, it's beautiful. Now, while I'm tasting this, could you quickly tell us about the concept of seasonality in this book? Because it's 365 soups, one for each day of the year. Absolutely. So this was the, the point that we really wanted to drive home with the book was the importance of cooking with the seasons. It really does take your food to a new level. Mm -hmm. If you cook with what's at the markets and what's at the farms right now, your food is going to taste so much better. It's going to taste like what it was supposed to taste like. And not only that, it's going to look better. The colors really pop when things are in season. And perhaps the best part about it is that it's a little bit easier on your pocketbook when you cook with what's in season and what's supposed to be eaten now. Kate McMillan Catering.com yeah. is where you can find out about her wonderful service. And the book is called Soup of the Day. 365 recipes for every day of the year and boy there this is one of those I, I don't want to be rude but it's kind of the drool kind of book <laughs> because you go through it and, and the, pictures. the pictures alone will I don't know if they're fattening but they certainly are beautiful they're beautiful thank you uh, we're gonna take a break and uh, we're gonna, but before we take a break, let's go back to Marty. He's sitting there waiting to say something. I'm sorry, Marty. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. We're going to tell you what's coming up on Crime.